Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It has been about, I don't know, a month and a half since I last recorded, or since I last posted, that is. Um, <clears throat> I actually, I recorded it. I haven't really recorded anything. Um, I, I have, however, been still playing games and stuff. Uh, so this is just an explanation as to why I've been away for so long and kind of what I've been doing. Um, about a month and a half ago, work got really, really busy. Um, like ridiculously busy. I had, you know, one of our major clients basically uh, wanted a project delivered two weeks ahead of um, what their scheduled deadline was, basically cutting the time I had to do the project in half. So I ended up working long hours to get that thing done and out the door. In the end, we had to make, the client made some last minute changes. We had to make a whole bunch, anyways, it was just a nightmare getting that done. <clears throat> so, uh, we're just about to run a horde here too. Uh, this is just, uh, seven days to die. This is this is like a my I've been playing a horde every night game, so I'm just gonna um, I'll probably turn the background sound as I fight the horde here and discuss why I've been away for so long. But um, this has been this is day 40 horde. Uh, but anyway, um, so it's been really really tough um, trying to get back into things, and the reason why is the the programs that I use to do editing and graphics and stuff like that with are the same programs I use at work every day. Now, I've been trying to figure out why I've needed to be like away from the whole like recording stuff for YouTube thing. Um, it's been, I got to a point where I was, let me just kill this guy here, where I was um, I couldn't even open um, the programs I needed to do the work, the editing stuff. I couldn't even open them at home. Um, it's hard for me to explain what it's like to have a hobby that's basically the same as your job and then the job being not as fun as it used to be um, and then trying to do the same thing at home and have it be fun. It, I just couldn't do it. It was like I tried very, very hard to open up program uh, like Premiere and edit stuff. Um, but it was just really, really difficult for me to to even do that. Like I couldn't even um, open the program to just, you know, edit a video. I've got seven, I think, seven or eight, seven days to die videos for my Darkness Falls series um, that I haven't even edited yet. They're, they've been sitting there since before um, I've been gone. Um, and I just have not been able to get to the editing of them because I can't open the program to do it. It's just so, I don't want to say stressful, but it's just not enjoyable. Um, and really, I don't do a lot of editing. The editing may take like a half an hour or something like that. Um, it doesn't take a long time to edit one of these videos, especially for me. I've been doing it for so long. Editing is so easy, right? Um, but it's just not it. I, I just have no enjoyment in it. Um, and I was hoping to get back in to like once that job was over for that client, I was hoping to get back into things right away. Um, but I was so burnt out from work, I took two weeks off. Um, and those two weeks, I tried, like I would get up in the morning, I would try to get sit down and record stuff, and I'd be like, ah, you know, I'll just wait for a bit. And I kept putting it off and kept putting it off. And I was putting it off because I knew after a recorded video, I'd have to open it, open Premiere or After Effects and edit stuff. And, and I just, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, I knew in the back of my head that that's what, what would have to be done, and I, and I couldn't do it. So, I basically stopped recording because um, I knew I would have to be editing stuff too, right? Now, I could just post a video, like, record it and post it right away, but um, I don't know. Like, even that is like, it's, I don't know, it's just... Well, it's easy to record and just throw it up. Um, I would rather at least edit it so that it's at least, you know, you know, what it's supposed to be. Like, you know, the trim off the opening 
crap while it's like the game is starting up and you know especially for Battletech there's those moments where after the mission ends um, you know and then you know there's just that those long periods of time where there's just nothing going on in the game so I have to edit that and if I don't edit it it's just gonna really bother me um, there's already more I want to be doing like more graphics and more editing work I want to be doing on these videos and to like to not um, do it like even to the basic level would just really bother me so I just stopped doing it um, and it, it's really hard for me to quantify you know how much like it's not here's the thing is it's not a lot of work right there's a couple people that mentioned oh maybe it's just too like you know too much work for you to do it and you just don't want to be doing the extra work and I'm like it's not the work the w it's really minimal like even even the the battle report series the work that I do on that you know some people may think it's a lot of work but it really isn't that much work the actual you know updating the maps for the players and stuff it's relatively easy and it's just opening the program to like do it is what the, the problem is it's like it just it sends me into these flashes of like work right and it's not like I don't know how to explain this to people it's not work right but it is you know it's it's taking I don't even know how to put it into words it's taking my the thing I do every single day which I don't necessarily despise doing I mean I like doing what I'm doing I've been at the same job now at the same location for 24 years um, and I've been editing for like you know 30 um, so it's not like I don't like the job if I did I would have quit a long time ago right um, it's just for some reason this past little while uh, with the volume that we've had and the short um, turnaround times which my company merged with another company uh, about two years ago we got bought out well we didn't get bought out the, the our the owners of the company that I was with before um, it was you know you can call it a mom and pa shop I don't really like to call it that but it was a um, you know um, uh, basically owned by a husband and wife couple uh, they got divorced during the whole thing and managed to keep the company together and the company was is, was relatively successful and they retired and then basically um, they were going to hand the company off to their their kids the two daughters um, but the two daughters were worried that they wouldn't be able to like manage the whole thing on their own um, and I don't blame them it's I mean it was it's like a lot of responsibility right it's a lot of work so um, we we approached several companies to see if they wanted to buy in anyway we ended up going with um, a, another company uh, an ad agency as opposed to like a like a video production company which was what we are um, and you know we work with agencies in the past and there's good things about agencies and bad things about agencies you know just as just as there's good thing about just being a production company and and you know um, and that's all um, so there's good things about that and bad things about it but you know um, anyway long story short um, we merged and uh, we were going to try and keep things as they were but now they're merging um, our company into, the, into a bigger hole they, they got uh, hooked up with another agency who and then we, they merged together so now it's a pretty big company and the people are great the atmosphere is great don't get me wrong it's not like I don't like it um, but the environment of like not only say work environment but the work I do um, the timelines and everything and the type of work that I'm doing is slightly different than what I was doing before um, and some of the clients that we've that are basically brought from the other agencies they've got ridiculously um, poor schedules when it comes to video like video takes a certain amount of time right it takes a certain amount if you want to do it right and, and, and make it look good it takes a certain amount of time right um, and for the videos that I do, I don't want to sit like, like my YouTube videos are just regular videos, right? I don't add anything special to them, right? Just because of the amount of time it would take to do that, um, it all comes down to like time, right? So I just, I just basically record the video, throw it in, do a quick edit on it, you know, uh, export it, and then post it, right? That's all I do. 
And I've seen some some YouTubers, they spend a lot of time on their editing and things like that. And that's great. I love the videos. Like some of the editing I've seen on YouTube is just amazing. And I wish I could do that too. Um, but the reality of it is it is that like this isn't like doing videos for YouTube is not my full-time job, right? If it was, if this was all I was doing every single day, then you're damn right. I'd be spending like a whole lot of time making these videos like amazing, right? Um, but I just, it just all comes down to time and what, what I want to do with that time. I would rather be playing games than spending most of my time, most of my time editing. Um, but like I said, if I was retired and this is all I was doing, then yeah, fantastic. Um, but anyway, so long story short, I was, I'm just at a point where, or I was at a point, I'm kind of recovering from that now, where I just couldn't do it anymore, right? I, I had to step away, um, and evaluate whether or not I was going to continue to do this. Now, I'm going to continue to do it because I love it so much, right? Um, I'm playing the games anyway, it's not like I stopped playing games, um, it's just that, like I said, it's it's the actual editing and doing any kind of graphics and stuff like that and getting things up and posted. Like, I'm doing it all day long at work, and I just I couldn't do it at home. Um, so now I have to, you know, kind of think about, you know, wh how I want to do things moving forward. Um, most likely, it's going to go back to exactly the way it was before. Um, you know, so nothing will, will really have changed. Um... But yeah, so it, it just really depends, you know. Um, I'm going to start off slow. I've already I recorded another, just so you know, I've, rec I've already recorded another... Uh, oh, hey, it's a bear. Um, I've already re recorded another... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Rogue Tech video. Uh, so that will, will be posted after I post this. Uh, uh, like I said, I got it with seven or eight um, videos from my Darkness Fall series that I haven't actually edited yet. So I'll be getting those edited and get them posted. Uh, I'm going to continue on with my series. I mentioned it a little bit, I think, at the end of the of the uh, um, the Rogue Tech uh, Battle for Astrakazi video. Uh, as far as the Battle Report series goes, um, definitely going to be getting back into that. I apologize to the group that was playing the, in that. Um, you guys are fantastic, and thank you for sticking it out. And you know, at least um, you know, not being too mad at me for having to kind of stop for a while um we will be getting back into um that again um we got to finish off the battle for lassa that's almost completed so we'll get that completed and then um i do have to reevaluate though what i'm going to be doing as far as like posting videos for that i don't think i'm going to be doing um like video posting as much as i want to um it's a little bit more work than i think i'm ready for at the moment uh, but I do have a couple of ideas for campaigns um, that we could do. So um, for those people that were watching or, or actually playing in the in the um, the Lassa series, um, we will be starting that up again. So uh, and if you didn't, uh, if you weren't involved the last time, but you're you know interested in maybe getting involved uh, next time, um, definitely uh, keep your eye open for it. Um, so I've got a kind of an idea what I'd like to do with it, um, but I want to get like the community involved and we'll, you know, hash out and build an idea together, um, build a campaign together. Um, and most likely what I'll end up doing is I probably won't, um, like I was, I was, I had my own, um, I had a couple playthroughs um, that I had for that, which was the battalion supply, the battalion command. And then I was also playing Fist of Dorm playthrough, um, which I like doing as well. But I think what I'll probably end up doing for that one is I'll just be like a like a DM for that or a what do you call it a um, facilitator. So I'll set up the campaign, um, and um, you know I'll get all the maps. I'll make sure the maps are always updated and all that stuff. But I don't think I'll play as a player at all. Um, what what I might do is turn over the control of the fight to somebody. So if somebody wants to be like. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, I want to say the DM, but if someone wants to be in charge of the battle um, for both sides, I'm more than willing to just like work on the maps, up, make sure they're updated, the players are all informed about what's going on, um, uh, and you know, work as a facilitator to get everything going, and then you know, the players can basically dictate. Um, 
you know, uh, how they want to run the campaign, what fight they're doing, who they're fighting against. And I can do all of the, um, um, basically it's After Effects work, but all of the, all the graphic work to make sure, like, all the maps are updated. I'll, 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 uh, um, keep the, um, the, uh, Discord going, um, moderate that, um, do any other kind of, like, aids that need to be done for that. Dog's gotta die before it blows up. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll work in, a, in that kind of capacity, um, but then let the players kind of dictate what they want to do. And then they can tell me, you know, hey, we want to do this, we want to do that. Can you get a map for this? Can you get a map for that? I'll just, I'll put it all together for you. Like, I'll be, like, the resource guy. Um, so, like, that's how I kind of want to continue that series. And, you know, I'll have my own ideas, too, and I'll be, I'll be participating in that that regard as well. Um, but, yeah, just to make it fun. I'm trying, I want to make it fun for everybody. So, and then, you know, if things, if my, um, I don't want to say mental state, but if my attitude changes, that's probably a better way to say it. My attitude changes about, you know, um, doing the videos and stuff like that, then um, I'll get involved again in a, in a larger capacity by doing videos and posting them and things like that. But for now, I think I got to pull back um, how much editing and stuff I need to do in posting. So I've decided I'm probably going to keep uh, the Darkness Falls series until I finish it. Um, Alpha 20 for um, Seven Days to Die is coming out, they've said, in um, around Halloween this year. So once that drops, I'll probably have the, I should have that Darkness Falls series finished anyway by that point. So um, yeah, so that then, then that will we'll finish that series up. I'm going to finish up my battle tech uh, battle for Astrakhazi. I want to, um, as I was, I'm going to mention in the next video, the battle for Astrakhazi video. I want to try and get um, um, some really good final battles for each of the playthroughs. So like you know the, the uh, dragons rejects and um, the night gods. I want to try and get uh, five skull missions for them. To kind of finish it off and have really good fights for everybody um and if we end up getting destroyed in the fight so be it that's fine i'm okay with that um uh, but i wanted to get something really good so it's at least it's a really good final battle i know some of my series it's like i tried to pick good missions for the final battle but you know they just end, either end up being too easy or lame so if that if that's the case if we get like something that's really easy um, then I'll do another, I'll, I'll choose another five skull until we get something that's like a, a really good fight, you know? And if it's a really good fight, oop, these night's over. If, if it's a really good fight and, um, uh, we manage to come out on top with no problem, then, uh, you know, great. As long as it's a really good fight, you know? So that's what I'm looking for for the final battle. What's this guy doing down here? Um, and then, um... After that's done, um, most likely at that, I mean, at that point we'll probably be into another battle report thing going on. Um, but I'm going to just uh, tone down the amount of, you know, um, I don't want to say content, but the amount that I'm playing. So I might only be, be posting one, one every two days. I'll start a new series. Uh, most likely what I'll do is I'll get everybody involved to try to find out what you guys want to see me play. Um, I'm also thinking about who, who's over here. Uh, I'm also interested in maybe adding a. Oh, it must be. I think it's a wandering horde. Um, uh, maybe a couple of other different games to the uh, channel. If you guys want to see me play something? Let me know. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes from from now on. I'm hoping that I'm able to keep my more positive attitude that I have now and get through this and. Um, start to get back to normal with the uh, videos and on the channel and everything uh, but we'll just see how it goes um, yeah other than that I'm not sure what else to say I'm gonna finish this horde off here I think these guys are part of a wandering horde that came by just in the morning so we'll just wipe these guys up and go down and see what the loot is for today um, but yeah so you know I definitely will, will be playing um, look at this Uh, more um, more games and recording them, getting them posted, um, and ah, uh, leg. Come on. Um, 
But yeah, so just stay tuned for that. Once again, I apologize for, um... Hey, you. Come here. I love how they're able to bounce up like that. Um, but yeah, thank you for being um, patient because it's not easy for me. Like, I love this so much that it wasn't easy for me to like have to stop, but I did. I had no choice. Like, I really had no choice um, or else I probably would have imploded and then, you know, not have been able to, to um, continue on at all. Uh, if I tried to just force myself to do it, it would have been like the worst situation. Um, so yeah, thank you for being understanding. Um, and hopefully there's going to be a lot more content in the future. This should get posted tomorrow. And I'm not sure what day that is. It's a Sunday for me. September something or other. Wait, 19th I think it is tomorrow? So it should get posted on the 19th. And then after that, start looking for um, um, Battletech and... Um, or Rogue Tech, I guess, and uh, Seven Days to Die, Darkness Falls stuff should come shortly after that. Um, hopefully getting a few videos up next week. I did record, like I said, I did record one already for uh, Rogue Tech, so that should be up, and then I'll get the, one, the seven or so that I have edited from like a month and a half ago for my Darkness Falls series up and posted. Um, I'll probably just release those, and then I gotta get back and finish playing that series, because I haven't touched it since I did those last recordings. Well, I don't know why it's lagging so bad. Um, so yeah, um, and that's about all I got to say. I'm just going to loot this stuff down here and, uh, call this video a video. Um, somebody else out here. So my next, um, series after Alpha 20 drops is probably going to, hey you, it's probably going to be in, um, that's for, that's, that's for uh, seven days to die, that is. Um, I'm probably going to do a horde every night. Start off on Alpha 20, right? Do a horde every night. Um, I've been playing Darkness Falls um, for quite a while now um, in my spare time. And I'm really enjoying it. I've got several series. One where I'm just kind of like building if I want to just relax. And then if I want to fight a horde, I've got this one, which is like basically horde every night. Um, which has been a lot of fun too. I learned a lot. Um, I mean, the hordes aren't cranked up to max, so it's like relatively, I don't want to say easy, easier, I guess. It's only six zombies max rather than the eight zombies max, but it is on warrior difficulty, so they are harder to kill. But, um, yeah, so I want to play like, um, make it really tough when I, when I uh, do my next uh, Seven Days to Die series. Um, just to really test out and see how, how difficult the uh, original game has gotten, because in my mind, the original game, um, after playing Darkness Falls, is isn't really that tough. And when I when I have a look at wow, this bag got underneath here, really. When I have a look at people playing, like playing that, um, like the original, um, I don't know how the hell it got underneath there, underneath like the original uh, um, game with the original rules, I guess. Um, it just seems so easy in my mind. Darkness Falls, I mean, and I've seen other mods too that ra ratchet up the difficulty, uh, but Darkness Falls really ratchets up the difficulty and makes you afraid to go into some buildings, you know? Um, I've had a few buildings that you go into and they're basically death traps, like you go in and there's like, you know, all of a sudden you're being jumped by like 30 or 40 zombies and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> I gotta get the hell out of here, you know? So, and then you end up running around at, like the, running around the POI um, try not to get killed what because if you leave the uh, if you leave the area you'll lose the quest right so um, yeah anyway so we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna rash up the difficulty on the original seven days when I, when I play that and then hopefully with darkness falls will get released again shortly after that and I'll probably play that but yeah if you guys have any uh, ideas for games you want to see me play drop it in the description below um, as far as the ad revenue too I, I'm getting from my channel it's not very much like I don't I didn't expect much, um, and it, and monetizing my channel is not a reason why I started recording and posting. Um, I only did it because YouTube was going to be like putting ads on my videos anyway. So if they're going to be doing it, I might as well get paid for it, right? So, um, yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, so the money that I'm getting from the monetization, like I said, it's like, like it's really nothing. So I'll probably just end up using that to like buy games. So if you guys, you know, have a game that you want to watch, see me play or whatever, and it looks interesting to me, then I'll just I'll just buy it with the, with the money that I'm getting from the, from the channel and, uh, um, yeah, and then um, you know you guys can watch me play it. And if it's great, great. If not, like I've I've seen a few games released. There's been some like survival games and stuff that have. Um, been released uh, recently that I looked at and we're just like, eh, you know, there, there's not a lot that's offering anything new to me in gameplay. Like I've played so many games, um, and I want to try and find something that's going to add, you know, something either new or exciting to play. You know, if you have any ideas, just let me know. Um, and if I find anything good, I'll let you guys know, and you guys can let me know what you think about me playing it or whatever. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and at least uh, have an understanding of why I've been gone so long. Uh, once again, I apologize. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll just end it here. And uh, until next time, well, I guess we'll see you all later.